Hey guys, Jangro here. And this episode is all about Distant Horizons mod. You've probably seen all kinds of YouTube videos with folks flying around these amazing, enormous worlds. And that's all thanks to the mod called Distant Horizons. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to get that set up and installed and how to use it. And you too can have these amazing views in your Minecraft world. Stick around. Before we get started, please give me a few seconds to thank the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you want to play Minecraft with your friends, a hosted Minecraft server is the way to go. Apex Hosting is a great way to do it. They have Java and Bedrock servers, 24-7 support. You can have a server up and running in less than five minutes. There's one-click mod pack install, high-performing servers, automated backup, and anything you could possibly do with Minecraft, they support plugins, mods, mod packs, mini games. And right now you can get 30% off with the code Tricky Trials in honor of the new 1.21 update that just came out. If you check them out, please use my link, jangor.com slash Apex. will help support the channel. Thanks to you. And thanks to Apex. Let's get going with Distant Horizons. All right, let's get started. I am going to do this whole tutorial with the Prism Launcher. So many mod install tutorials start with the downloading actual Forge or Fabric and installing it on the Minecraft launcher. There's just no need to do that. There's so many easier ways to do that with these mod launchers, CurseForge, Prism, AT Launcher, ModRinth. There are so many options and they're so much easier. I'm going to use the Prism Launcher and I'm going to grab their portable zip instead of the installer because I've already got it installed on my computer. Uh, I can install it again with the portable zip we're just going to put this right onto the desktop, right click, extract all. It's going to go right onto the desktop here and I can just delete this. Okay, so now we've got the Prism Launcher in a folder. We just have to find prismlauncher.exe and run that. Next for the language. Now it's going to find any versions of Java that you have. Um, I've got a got version 21. I'll just click next, finish. And now we have Prism Launcher right here. First thing we do is connect our Minecraft account, manage account, add Microsoft. And that's going to open up a page like this, which is looking for the code on this Prism launcher window right here. It's kind of confusing, but we just have to paste this code into this page. And this is already opened up. It says just have to log into Microsoft, accept it. You are now signed in. You can close this window and it is now connecting to my Minecraft account, which is right here. Then we can close the settings window. Okay, so now we want to add an instance. From here, we're gonna do custom forge. 1.20.1 is the version I want to use. Forge versions of Distant Horizons goes up to 1.20.4. Fabric and I think NeoForge start with 1.20.6 when it's available, 1.21. But for now, we'll do Forge 1.20.1 because there are so many other mods available on that version right now. So that's the one we're going to do. We've picked Forge. We're going to use this recommended version, which is the star. Click OK. Oh, let's give it a name. There we go. Now we've got our instance. It's just a Forge instance with nothing in it. We click on that. We can right click and click edit, or we can click over here. We're going to add some mods here. It's a little bigger. Download mods. And we're search for Distant Horizons right here. Select mod for download. I also want to add some shaders. So this is Forge. We need Oculus. Select for download. And let's add a few more mods here. William Withers Overhauled Overworld is one of the mods that you see people using with Distant Horizons a lot. So we'll select that. And finally, let's grab a couple of mods that will give us some structures. Towers of the Wild has some pretty cool structures in it. And let's grab Irons, Spells and Spellbooks, which puts, which also puts some pretty cool towers into the world. All right, we hit review and confirm. It needs to install all of these different mods because they're dependencies of the other ones that we chose. Just click OK. There we go. Finally, let's grab a couple shader packs. Just click on shader packs, download shaders. We'll grab BSL and a couple of complementary ones. Now, I think there's a bug in Prism right now where it doesn't show them, but it says three installed. So I'm going to trust it. Close this window back here again, and let's launch it. Double clicked. It's downloading everything. A great thing about Prism is it doesn't mod the Minecraft launcher. It loads Java all by itself, gets the assets from Mojang. You can see it doing it right here, and it just launches Minecraft directly. We're not dealing with modding the Minecraft launcher anymore. Okay, now it's starting up. 
here's an error. The instance is not compatible with Java version 21. Go to settings and Java installation, skip Java compatibility checks. It will work with Java 21. For some reason, it thinks it will not. So I'll just disable that check and start again. If you're concerned about that, you can install an older version of Java. I think Java 17 or 18 will work. All right, and here we go. Just click single player, put it in creative, create a new world. Let's see what we get. All right, here we are. And as you can see here, we can see pretty far. And as we wait, Distant Horizons will continue to load the chunks around us. Video settings, our render distance is just 12 chunks. We can even lower this down to like six. And you can see it's still more than six chunks off in the distance. Now I'm gonna let this sit here for 10 or 15 minutes and let Distant Horizons do its thing. While we're doing that, let's load up shaders, video settings, shader packs, and let's enable complementary unbound. There we go. So my computer's working away. Again, it's distant horizons loading up these faraway chunks. My render distance is just six. We can really drive this point home and make the render distance like three chunks. You can see here it didn't change anything. We can see that we've got a tower over there. That's from Iron's Spells and Spellbooks. Okay, I'll be back in a minute when the world has a chance to get all rendered in Distant Horizons. I've given the game some time to generate the world in Distant Horizons. Again, we're not dealing in large chunk render settings. All of this is being done by Distant Horizons. So you can see, we can see that tower way over there. That's from the Towers of the Wild mod. Again, we're using Distant Horizons with Oculus for shaders. This is complementary Unbound shader pack. And we've got William Withers Overhauled Overworld here, which is giving us some pretty cool terrain generation. That's why you see some weird trees around. And we have Towers of the Wild and Irons Spells and Spellbooks mod just to get some structures in here. So yeah, so look at that. You can see a tower over there and a tower over there. Without Distant Horizons, we just wouldn't know where to go. It's just makes exploring so much better. Okay, I've got some elytra on. Let's just go for a quick flight. Look how far we can see. I can see four towers. And they are so far apart. can see some irons structures over here. Let's check those out. And you can kind of see the detail getting higher resolution as we get closer to the landscape. So great. So over here is where it hasn't caught up yet, but it will. Especially since we wouldn't be flying around normally in a new world, it would have plenty of time to catch up as we're kind of exploring. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you give Distant Horizons a try. It is pretty cool. There are a number of different terrain generation mods like Terralith, William Withers, that can provide some pretty cool terrain generation, especially if you're using Distant Horizons to be able to see it from so far away. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.